You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Hot pocket. <laughs> so there's totally a window to eating a hot pocket. If you eat it too early, you're gonna burn everything in there, especially the roof. If you wait too long, what happens? Then you have a cold brick, not a hot pocket. This is important stuff, people. This is real life. Necessary information. How long do you wait? in order for that hot pocket to get to the desired temperature. Looks like we were having the pepperoni and sausage pizza. Po quite possibly the most dangerous hot pocket out there. Let's check it out. <laughs> Two minutes to cook. Oh boy, let's do the math. What are we looking at? We're looking at Newton's law of cooling. Hot pockets. You can model this function for cooling following this guy. Where you're gonna get a temperature. What do you put in? You put in time. What do you get out? You get out temperature. Well, what? How's this gonna go? Well, uh-huh. T1 is your initial temperature. That was when we stuck the hot pocket right after it came out of the microwave. Yes. And then T naught is the surrounding. Now, that's T naught with the subscript O T naught. It's not T O. This isn't a reality show. Okay. So that's the surrounding temperature, meaning um, the temperature of my room, which was 78 degrees, kind of warm down here in Southern California this time of year. Okay, um, and then we have E to the minus K, where K is a constant to be determined, times T, which was your time. The time that this model progresses. You're making an exponential model. And in order to do this, we have a game plan. This is the game plan. First, we're gonna set up a generic equation using our initial temperatures and our surrounding temperatures. And then we're gonna take an extra reading. Why? Um, shortly after our initial reading, to find K, your cooling constant. Not everything cools at the same time. Your ham and cheese hot pocket might cool at a different temperature than the oh so dangerous pizza hot pocket. Ooh. Okay, and then we find that K to get a specific equation. This is gonna be the model for our specific hot pocket. And then, we're gonna answer the freaking questions. So we need to get the initial temperature of this hot pocket. I'm just gonna stick it. Whoa, sucker is climbing. What is that? Looks like our initial temperature, 180 degrees. It was at the eight. One minute later, let's get another reading. What are we doing? We're finding the information in order to find our cooling constant. Our K! Oh, K! Okay. Our second reading was 170 degrees. That was after one minute. Looked more like 171. So let's do the math. Oh, boy. Our initial room temperature was 78. That's the surrounding area. Our initial temperature of our hot pocket was 180 degrees. Woo! The temperature after one minute went all the way down to 171 degrees, which is still way too hot to eat. So let's make a model. Mm -hmm. Our temperature. Big T of little t, that's gonna be, ah yes. What did T not stand for? The surrounding temperature, the 78 degrees goes there. Cause that's the room temperature. Plus, wait for it, that initial temp. 180 minus my room temp, 
78 grades e to the minus kt. Now what are we doing? We're making that generic equation. Okay. Finish him. This is 78. I'm saying we're doing step one. Plus one. Oh, two. Uh huh. E to the minus kt. Oh, boy. So now we have achieved our generic equation. We're going to use the initial condition in order to find k. Okay. So one minute later, what's my t? Oh, all right. And what's my temperature? Yeah. We're on to step two. We're finding our k. Okay. I'm going to plug that in there. That's 170. One degrees. Where does that go? In the output part, in the temperature part. And that's going to be equal to 78 plus 102 e to the, wait for it, minus k times 1. Fun. Finish him. Yes, minus k times 1 is just 1. I'm going to back that math up. What is that? Is that 90? Three is going to be 102 e to the minus k. Yes, I'm going to eventually need to use the natural log, but first I need to isolate that base. And I do. I divide by a 102. So I divide this side by 102, and I divide this side by 102. Oh, 93 divided by 102. That's going to be e to the minus k. T, ha, but T was one, fun. Now that we've isolated the base, we're gonna go logging. Yes, we need to take the natural log of each side. I'ma take it to the top. Oh, yes, so then here we are. We're at, uh, logging. Yes, so I take the natural log of the left-hand side. So it's the natural log of nine, three, divided by one, oh, two, Oh, and then that's going to be equal to the natural log of e to the minus k. Okay. So then the natural log of 93 divided by 102 is, wait for it, wait for it, minus point zero nine two three woo, seven three. <laughs> Did that in my head. Um, it's written on the wall. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to minus k. Okay. Finish him. Because we just found our k value. Yes, that was step two. Our k is point zero nine two three seven three. Oh. And now we can make a model. I'm going to put it back up into my generic, yes, in order to find that specific. That would be step three. So let's do that now. T of T is going to be 78 plus 102 e to the minus kt. Katie, I wonder how she's doing. Zero, nine, two, three, seven, three, T. Oh. Ha, <laughs> looks like a hot pocket. Step four, it's finally time to answer the question. On the box, it says let's stand in the microwave for two minutes. How hot is it after two minutes? Literally, it says it right there. So let's answer the question. We have our model. After two minutes, how, pop, how hot is this hot pocket? Yes, that means we're going to take our model and we're going to put two in where? For time or for temp? For time. So then, this is big T of two. Oh, that's going to be 78 plus 102 e to the minus 0 0.09373. What do we put in for T? Two. Oh. And then we pound it out with our calculator. And we're going to find that this is going to be 162.79 degrees. 
Let's see what that was in our experiment downstairs. Let's see the temperature after the recommended two minutes. Looks like it's down to 166 degrees. I'm not sure what you're comfortable eating, but that's pretty hot. Nailed it. Next question. A comfortable temp. Yeah, that's a, temp that's a question in itself. What is a comfortable temperature? Mm. Okay, do you use the sleeve when you eat your Hot Pockets? I do. I like it. It's like a little suit for my Hot Pocket. Do I have cheese in my teeth? You know what? I can eat this Hot Pocket at this temperature. Let's see what temperature is comfortable for me. What's comfortable for me may not be comfortable for you. Looks like I like my Hot Pockets around 144 degrees. No, that's good. So yeah, I like them in the wrapper because then you're all like, oh, presents. A nice little package. <laughs> I'll pick that up later. Okay, so let's go and let's try to find that comfortable temperature. We want to see how long is it going to take to get our hot pocket cool enough to freaking be comfortable. Everybody's comfortable level is going to be different. Do your own math, but I caution you, when you do your math, you are on your own. I have no liabilities for the burns on your mouth. Ready, 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 ready? Okay. How long is it gonna take? Is that a time or a temp? That's a temp, so I'm gonna put it where? In the temp. So then that's where we go from here. This is gonna be, wait for it, wait for it. 144 is it. We wanna know where that's gonna be equal to 78 plus 102 e to the minus 0 0.09373 t. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. Back that math up. You subtract that 78 off each side. And then, what do you get? Oh, tag. 144 minus 78. You gotta borrow a four side. Oh, you're a 13. Uh-huh, you're, you're, you're a 14. Uh-huh, there's a six. Oh, seven from 13. That's a uh, 66. So then this is gonna be 66 is equal to 102 e to the minus point zero nine three seven three t. Finish him. We gotta isolate E. So then we divide 102. Divide 102. Oh. So then this is 66 divided by 102. That's gonna be E to the minus point zero nine three seven three t. And then we go logging naturally. To get rid of the E, we use the natural logarithm. And here we go. Yes. So I go logging. What I do on the one side, I gotta do under the other. So then you have the log natural of 66 divided by 102. That's going to be, now the log of base E gives us our exponency. So then this is a minus point zero nine three seven t Finish him. Punch that out. Like Mike Tyson? No, you guys don't even remember that video game. Um. Um. Finish him. A little bit of division in our lives. So I divide both sides by this, and it turns out to me that T is going to be, wait for it, 4.7126. What's our T measured in? Minutes. So convert that into, you know, do the whole ratio thing. This is to mm, 10,000 as X is to 60. And you're going to find that T turns out to be 4 minutes and 43 seconds and that's how we did experimentally nailed it remember i assume no liability for your hot pocket do your own math watch your decimals if you're off by a decimal that could be your mouse all right boy breakfast is ready <laughs>